In this Debaco University video, I'll go over how to identify male and female cannabis flowers, both in pictures, as well as take you out in the field to do some identification there as well. Here in this image, we see a nice female flower. In this video lecture, we'll be going over how to identify male and female cannabis flowers, both in pictures as well as in the field. So first off, those important pre-flowers. So when we're looking at plants, the first ones they're gonna produce are those little pre-flowers. Growers should first look at the nodes, or which is the junctions between the leaves and branches and the stalks of the plant. This is where you're gonna find those pre-flowers to begin with. Pre-flowers begin to, to develop four to six weeks into the growing cycle at the nodes, and during this time, growers should be able to identify the gender of the plant as being male, uh, as we see here, or female, as we see down here. These immature flowers, uh, these are immature flowers and will show the male or female morphology well before they're able to produce viable components for seed production. So if you're identifying a male plant here, no problem, no pollen was produced or released. And a female plant here, they're not ready to kind of receive any sort of pollen. Removing the males at this time will help ensure no chance of accidental pollination will occur. Male pre-flowers, we simply want to be looking for small pollen sacs. And for female pre-flowers, we want to be looking for two stigmas, which are typically white in coloration. These would be the areas that would be receiving the pollen. These would be the areas that would be producing the pollen. Now those female plants, let's focus on those just a little bit more specifically right here. Well, females are, are the plants that will produce the cannabinoids and the greatest concentrations within the flowers. If female plants receive pollen though from male plants, seeds will be produced which will dr drastically reduce the cannabinoid production. Cannabis is grown via sensimilla, which stands for basically seedless, by removing male pollen producing plants to prevent seed production. This allows the cannabis plant to focus its energy on cannabinoid production instead of seeds. Female plants will only be pollinated to produce seeds for breeding purposes. For the most part, we want those buds, we can see right here, female plant, to produce higher cannabinoids, not seeds. So as we go over to male plants now for comparison, male cannabis plants are grown for pollen sacs instead of buds and are often discarded to avoid female plants from becoming pollinated. Male plants are important in the breeding process. Now, pollinating male plants uh, shape, rate of growth, pest and mold resistance, and climate resilience can be important for breeding purposes. So knowing how the male plant performs could offer some importance for breeders uh, because that will influence the seeds or the following generation. Male plants can also be used for hemp and fiber in some cases, uh, concentrate production, but concentrate is much less than female plants. And how we're gonna go about identifying those? Well, these are gonna be our little um, early pre-flowers for male plants. Now I've showed you some great pictures, gave you some great information. Now let's take a second, let's go in the field and compare both male and female flowers. Here we see those brown pistils. This is an early indication of a female pre-flower. So it's important to be able to identify these early, male versus female plants. And this one will be a female, and this one will be kept in the field. So this is an attempt to show you the stages of development. Here we have a male flower, very early on in development. As we work our way down the stem here, we can see further and further developed male flowers. So again, none of these have opened yet, so no threat to the field. But the earlier you can identify and the earlier you can roll out these plants, the better. As we can see, the structures of that male flower definitely here is going to be where we're going to be producing our pollen. So this is what defines it here as male flowers. See that these are the most developed. We have some that not are quite that are not quite as developed as of this moment in time, located right here. Uh, this is definitely the time you want to be able to clearly identify them as male, and these should be removed from the field if you're looking at producing higher cannabinoid and terpene production rather than seeds. So here you can see a very early male pre-flower located right here. So I know it's a little difficult to kind of 
consistency there, but the earlier you can identify male pre-flowers, the earlier you can rogue out these male plants in a field, reducing any chance of pollination in producing seeds to get the maximum yield from your buds. Now, if we work our way down a plant, you can clearly see how those male flowers can really start to stack up there. And this plant, if not removed, would have produced a lot of pollen. That pollen would not be wanted in this field. So you can see just the plethora of male flowers and how they cluster and develop. Great look here at male pre-flowers. Great look at male pre-flowers here. Very early on, you can see as you work your way down, they do get a little bit more advanced. But trying to identify male plants is important to rogue those out so you don't have any cross-pollination. If you look down the plant in general, you just get an idea of this male plant, how much flowers they can produce and how much pollen it is possible for them to release. One plant left in the field can really cause an issue to all of your crops here, to your entire field here. That one male plant could easily pollinate these thousands and thousands of plants, or at least reduce the yield of flower.